Hello guys, Pokemon TCG here with a quote-unquote face reveal and a tournament report. So, I went to a League Cup in, uh, where was it? Six Feet Under in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Six Feet Under in Pennsylvania. So, uh, I ended up going 4-1, and one, technically 5-0, and out, but I scooped to my last opponent so he could make top cut because he was a master. So what was interesting about this event was it was a five-round event, but we only had five seniors. But they had enough juniors to play their own tournament. So we got paired up against Masters, and we had five rounds. So I ended up going four and one. So let's go check out my deck. So what I played was Volcanion. First card is uh, Baby Volcanion, which is the core of the deck, which helps you set up with its attack power heater, where you can choose two fire energies in the discard pile and attach them to your bench Pokemon. So, the next card is Volcanion EX, which is the way you get the energies in the discard pile and your main attacker of the deck. So, its ability, Steam Up, is you may discard a fire energy and do 30 extra damage with any of your basic fire type Pokemon. And its attack, Volcanic Heat, is 130 straight, and this po Pokemon can attack during its next turn. The attack isn't so great, but Steam Up makes the attack amazing. So, the next card is Shaman, which is... A staple in every deck. I run two because Volcanion is limited on space, bench space, with all the bench sitters of Volcanion with Steam Up and Hoopa and a ton of stuff, which I'll get to Hoopa in a second. So my next card up here is Salamence, which is a good counter to Mega Rayquaza and a good tech against the Mirror. So uh, it has two attacks, but one attack is useless because I don't run any water energies. Its first attack does 10 damage, and it does 50 times the amount of uh, Pokemon EX on your opponent's board, which Volcanion runs a ton of Pokemon EX, so I can use this against any other Volcanion and do a ton of damage. And Mega Ray only runs EXs and puts down millions of EXs with Skyfield. So, our next card is Hoopa, which is uh, the way Volcanion normally sets up. So its ability is Scoundrel Ring. When you play this card from your hands, you may search to up to three Pokemon EX and put them into your hand. So what you normally do with Hoopa is you either, you, you Ultra Ball for Hoopa, which I'll get to Ultra Ball in a minute, and you use Scoundrel Ring. What Scoundrel Ring does is you can grab the three Pokemon. I normally grab two Volcanion, a Shaman, or depending on the matchup, I'll grab Salamence, Volcanion, and Shaman. Which is just, like, it's basically getting three Pokemon for, with one Ultra Ball, which is amazing. So my next card is Professor Sycamore. Uh, Professor Sycamore is just a staple in every deck. Discarding seven card, uh, discarding your hand and drawing seven cards is amazing. So the next card, N, is also a staple in most decks, where your opponent and you both shuffle your hand into your deck and draw the amount of prize cards. This is a really good card late game if you're losing. Because if your opponent has one prize card left, and you have, say, example, six, you're drawing six cards, and you're ending your opponent into one. So my next two cards are Lysander. Lysander is amazing. It's basically what Pokemon Catcher used to do before its errata as a supporter. So I can send up any po uh, my opponent's Pokemon into the active, which is really nice, so I can just uh, kill anything on the bench with Volcanic Heat. So my next two cards are Fisherman and Olympia. Fisherman puts four basic energies from the discard pile into your hand, which is a really nice when you're discarding all these energies with Steam Up and you just want to dump it all on with Steam Up. And then the next card is Olympia, which you heal 30 and you switch when you're active, which is really good against uh, Fright Night Evil Tall, which is a really, uh, which is counters this deck because... I have a hefty 3 retreat cost, and Fright Knight shuts off Floatstone, so I can't retreat with that. So my next card is Via Seeker, which is a 4 of staple in every deck, except any deck that has Vileplume. Uh, what it does is it puts a supporter from your discard pile into your hand, pretty self-explanatory, and I can just play extra supporters. So the next card is Max Elixir, which really helps uh, with Volcanion. So if you hit two Max Elixirs, and attach, you can get a turn one Volcanic Heat, which is ridiculous. And you run a ton of energies in this deck, so it's not that hard to hit. The next card is Floatstone, which is ideal to this deck, because you're running 
Volcanion, which has three retreat, Hoopa, which has two retreat, and Salamence that has two retreat, and Baby Volcanion, which has two retreat, which discarding two energies to retreat is ridiculous, and you have to attach them because you can't max looks through the active, so Floatstone's key. So my next card is Trainer's Mail. Trainer's Mail is an amazing card that lets you look at the top four cards of your deck and grab a trainer's, uh, and grab a trainer. This is really good because you can grab a Max Elixir or Ultra Max Elixir, Ultra Ball, or VS Seeker. VS Seeker to grab a supporter, Ultra Ball to grab a Hoopa, and Max Elixir just to get the board set up. So my next card is Ultra Ball that I've been talking so much about. Ultra Ball is an amazing card which you can discard two cards from your hand and and take any Pokemon from your deck. This helps when discarding Fire Energies for Power Heater and just grabbing Hoopa and getting set up really quickly. So the next card is Escape Rope, which is uh, a really good retreating card that also makes your opponent switch, which they switch before you, so you can use it as a strategy to like play some mind games. So the next card is Energy Retrieval, which is actually one of an awful card except in this deck, where you can put two basic po po two basic energies from your discard pile into your hands. And that's just really nice, so you can just energy retrieval and double steam up, or energy retrieval, attach, and steam up, which is really nice. The next card is Fighting Fury Belt, which uh, just does 10 extra damage and gives 40 HP, just a solid tool. And then these are my stadiums, two Skyfield and one Scorched Earth. Skyfield allows me to have eight bench Pokemon, and Scorched Earth allows me to discard a fire or fighting energy to draw two cards. And then, this is all my energies, a, real, a lot. So, today I faced off against uh, five opponents. So, the first round, I faced off against a Mega Scizor, which is actually an amazing matchup for me, being weak to fire, and Volcanion, obviously being fire, one-shots most, most of his Pokemon. So, round one, I win. The second round, I face up against an interesting deck uh, with... Umbreon GX and Evolutions, uh, which could have beat me, but I luckily pulled it out. With the uh, Vaporeon hitting for weakness on Vla uh, Volcanion, uh, making all his Umbreons do 180, and with Wildlands 60 to the bench, which is really annoying. Uh, the what's it called? The third round I faced up against a Mega Ray, uh, the other 2-0 senior, and I actually pull it off by. Uh, just killing all the shamans on the bench and when pulling off win the game. Uh, in the fourth round, I faced off against a weird deck. I actually don't remember what it is, but I remember that I beat it. So, and then in the fifth round, I faced off against a Vespaquin deck, uh, which I used Baby Volcanian to pull off the win, which was surprising. Because I have a really bad matchup with that. Because he runs Vaporeon, which hits for weakness. So that was my tournament report. Thanks for watching. Bye.